Do you have a number one quarterback? <laughs> Not yet. We will. Uh, these those guys probably kind of split some reps and practice. Is that kind of the plan for a couple of days? Just to kind of see. It was the plan went. for today. Uh, we went out and we split, and I made sure that both quarterbacks had uh, equal distribution. And uh, we'll make that decision soon. It will not be a game plan decision for sure. How'd they do tonight? Good. The uh, energy was good. The enthusiasm was good. Um, every day that uh, those guys were able to take the snap underneath center and the shotgun, it's a learning experience. So uh, anytime that we can get out there and get reps, it's a good day for us. Does this back and forth between Kyle and Clint affect uh, Jonathan's progress with the first team as well? No, none whatsoever. Clint said that in recovering from that shoulder, he changed his throwing motion a little bit, just finding what he was comfortable with. Have you seen any you know, slight changes just to make no, it? No, you, you noticed a little bit of a lower lower body, lower left leg lockout problem that, uh, that he's developed through it. But uh, for the most part, the overall motion Gene's talked a lot the last couple of days about focusing in on on mm -hmm. on offense. It, it, from your perspective, what what do you what does, what does that exactly mean? Yeah, we've uh, we've tried a lot of different things, and uh, um, we got to definitely make sure that we narrow down to exactly who we are. And who we are is this: we're we're going to run the football, and uh, we want to be a play action team that has the ability to take shots down the field, and. Uh, uh, we need to narrow that down for sure. Have you gotten away from that a little bit? Seems like that was pretty much what you were the first game. Mm -hmm. Have you kind of gotten away from it some? At times, a... uh, at times, uh, I think that uh, we tried to take advantage of the the teams that we were playing against, and uh, at times maybe got away from exactly who we are. What's Gene's role been the last couple of days as far as the offense? Uh, it's been the same since I've been here. Uh, Gene's. Uh, uh, in and out of every single offense meeting, defense meeting, special teams, uh, the, uh, there hasn't been really any major major differences involved in every facet of the program. So, uh, wide receiver, you had some guys that can step up and make some plays. Is that, was that good to see Saturday to see Sammy and, and Trevante and, and Trevon make some plays? It was. It was. Uh, just like I, I said to the group, you know, your 63% completion percentage, and at the, the end of the day, what what killed us was the turnovers and the the lost yardage plays. Anytime uh, we got anything going momentum-wise, we took an unnecessary sack, and uh, um, it's really difficult whenever you're uh, not in schedule in the SEC. And uh, we were we were on schedule, off schedule, on schedule, off schedule, and whenever you're inconsistent about being on schedule, you're gonna have a hard time. Trey Mason on the season, more than five yards per carry, only six carries against Arkansas. In your mind as a play caller, do you need to get more carries than that? Yeah, we uh, we evaluate uh, the running back position uh, based on what's going on during the game. And uh, he's had a great season so far, and he'll continue to get the football. With what was going on Saturday, what, what was the reason the six carries was appropriate for him? Um, we just felt that it was uh, the game situation. Uh, we were going to throw it a little bit more. Uh, we thought that they had a weakness in their secondary, and uh, um, we don't need, we, we understand Trey can run the ball, and we're going to get Trey the football. Is it frustrating for you to obviously be Tuesday of week seven and hear things like reestablishing the identity and figuring out what you need to do and how to do it on, on offense? Um, it's part of the grind. You know, whenever, uh, whenever things are going well, we wouldn't be discussing those things at all. And uh, whenever things aren't going well, you're going to discuss them. Um, I've been in situations where one week they said you run it too much, and then the next week you come out and you throw for 500 yards, and that's not your identity. So um, uh, whenever you're in the fray, you're going to hear it, and uh, that's just part of the part of the business. A couple guys have voice the need for leadership, particularly from the quarterback position. Do you want to see, you know, as much as the coaches can do in trying to motivate guys, do you want to see that more out of whoever's playing QB? You know, we're young right now at that position, and uh, uh, those guys every day are developing in that area. But uh, to, to say that you hear the noise about leadership, um, I just know this, our guys right now are going out every day and uh, at all positions, not just the quarterback positions, and they're busting their tail. and. Uh, 
I really don't get wrapped up into what who says who's who's not saying things. So at the end of the day, we're just going to keep 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 to the grind and stay away from the noise. Is Clint more vocal than Kyle? Are about the same. Everybody's different. Everyone's completely different. I've been around uh, guys that uh, have been loud leaders that want, or, and others that are leading by example. So I think it's all based on who you are. Scott, at this point, you still planning to stay on the sidelines? Yes. How has that adjustment been for you? I know you said you certainly prefer the, to be in the box. What has that been like for you these, these past couple of weeks? This hasn't been difficult. Um, I do prefer being up in the press box, but uh, with our situation with our quarterbacks right now, the best thing for our program and our team is for me to be face to face with them, and that's what we're going to do until uh, until uh, we mature a little bit at the position. Scott, Kyle, Saturday, other than the sacks, and of course you can't take out the sacks. Mm -hmm. did, did, did you feel like you made some progress? I did, and uh, uh, especially going back and reevaluating the tape. Um, I thought he made much bigger strides than, than what the results appear. Um, I thought uh, if we can take the, the, the turnover before half out of the equation, could take away the, uh, the two sacks uh, that the ball should have been thrown away, um, he made some progress. And uh, it's every single time that those guys get underneath center right now, it is a Plus, it's a positive. They're, they're, they're learning something that they, uh, they're gaining knowledge, essentially. Are you evaluating the, the starting five offensive linemen right now? Excuse me? Are, the starting five offensive linemen, are, are there open competitions anywhere? Every single position every day is evaluated. That's, uh, there's no such thing in this program as a, uh, a player not being, a, or scout team players are evaluated. So every single player is being evaluated every day. Patrick did have a tough Saturday. I mean, how's Avery been doing uh, since he, he lost that starting right tackle job? Yeah, they're both both true freshmen battling their rear end off and uh, against the greatest defensive ends in the in the country. So they're learning and they're going to keep fighting. Have you had a chance to stand and look at all of this defensively? Uh, very aggressive, uh, extremely. They played with great passion against Alabama. Uh, they are uh, very impressive on tape. They play extremely hard, and uh, we'll, have our, we'll have our work cut out. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you.